Today we're going to be talking about barracks rooms and how to make them a little more homey. But without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Ben Allen back again with another video and like I just said, we're going to be talking about barracks rooms, right? Especially for you active duty military personnel, right? These are where you're going to be staying a majority of your time when you're not at work or, you know, maybe you'll be out uh, exploring or whatever, the base around you, the area around your base, all that fun stuff, right? But typically the barracks room, the barracks is where you're going to be living, right? That's where you go to sleep, that's where you shower, that's where you do everything and a lot of people just live in the barracks but they really don't make the barracks a home right and i know a lot of you probably thinking like i don't want to make the barracks a home it's shitty right uh well pretty much today's video is brought to you by my discord i put in the chat and i said hey guys like, i'm making a video on how to make a barracks room more homey and how to make it a little more enjoyable and not as dreary and like drab and just kind of like army-ish you know what i mean uh, and just how to come back from work into a place where you can relax and just find comfort and peace and we're gonna be going over some of those tips tricks and you know style ideas that people in my discord dropped and just from my personal experience how i've made uh, my barracks room not feel like a prison cell right because sometimes they do feel like that depending on the bases you go to the barracks rooms are gonna be a little different sometimes uh you'll get your own room right you'll get a common area and and then you'll get a room in a room right and then that's where you stay some barracks aren't like that some barracks are just one big open space with like a bed on one side of the wall a bed on the other side of the wall kind of like a college dorm uh depending on what type of college dorms you've been to right uh some will have appliances some won't so we're gonna we're gonna talk about that and how to like make up for lack thereof if you don't have any like appliances or anything like that right but before we jump into the topic guys be sure to like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience and be sure to subscribe 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 it really helps out the channel and uh, again if you want to become part of my discord which helped give me some of the ideas for this video hit the link down in the description box below there's over 300 people in there that can help you answer your questions uh, there's people that are in people that are getting ready to get in people that are out a lot of experience in there that can just overall be beneficial to you guys and also follow my instagram guys that link is also in the description box down below my instagram is at the ben allen you can message me there directly i try to get Back to everybody within about two weeks or so so feel free to do that and hit me up but with that out of the way let's jump straight in the topic right so barracks rooms right typically when you first get to your duty stations it'll be like a blank room unless you already have a roommate and you'll see like maybe they have kitchen appliances like at fort bliss we had a stove we had a microwave uh we had a whole kitchen area common area that we shared we had a bathroom there a little table everything like that and then we had our own individual room so that's a plus if you get a barracks room like that honestly that's a little bit on the higher end because i've had people see my barracks room videos that i've made i'll probably link them up here on the top in a card or something but they've seen that and be like yo where's this at like our barracks room suck it's just a giant open space whatever right uh and you know i, I feel for you guys if, if you have that type of barracks rooms i apologize like that sucks the army did you dirty but uh we're gonna be talking about both right so the way i decorated my room personally obviously get some good bed sheets right you want to be able to make that little twin mattress that they give you uh, comfortable right some people that i know just put the twin mattress in their closet and they actually bought a bed some people were rocking queen size beds in their barracks so that's cool if you're bougie you need the big space if you plan on bringing people back to the barracks you're gonna be doing some stuff then yeah go for it by all means right it's 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 a little troublesome just trying to fit two people on a twin size bed that's just no fun <clears throat> But at the same time, right, another thing is rugs. Uh, somebody in my Discord commented, rugs make a big difference. I have to agree with that. Because if you're looking at those lame ass white colored tile floors that most barracks have, it's it's lame. It's, it's disgusting. Uh, and then a rug is just someplace you can have your shoes off. You can just feel the little comfiness of the rug on your feet. You can just lay down on the ground if you want. It's amazing, right? Rugs are top tier decorative items to have in a barracks room, right? And depending on the size, you can get like a little ottoman. I had a little ottoman in there just cause it, it, it served as like an added bench for people like if they were in there or playing video games or something right and speaking of video games your consoles if you have consoles guys hook them up right set them up connect to the tv i recommend buying a good size tv uh trust me you can afford it if you're in the military right they're not that expensive two 200 300 bucks you know for like a good like 
50 inch just you know get the the roku on brand or something you don't need to be super bougie with it and set that up right and a big thing that's going to help and just really set the the ambiance is led light strips like you see these back here i just got them kind of going most of the time they, they help a lot because they, they really change the mood of the room. If you're feeling like blue, put some blue on there, some green, some red, right, whatever. I also recommend getting one of those like portable like Google speakers or Amazon speakers, whatever, uh, because you can just be like, hey, you know, play music, right? And that's cool because you can really just kind of like start vibing. You can tell it to play music as soon as you get off work. It's a great, great asset to have, right? And then uh, most importantly, decorative items, right? Like posters, flags, people were talking Talking about that in my discord flags make a difference you see all the time one i've seen a majority of the time is the don't tread on me flag right with a little snake and shit i mean that's cool if you guys want to do that i see a lot of texas flags that's cool <clears throat> i got this flag right here this obviously isn't a barracks room this is just a room that i live in it's not the barracks and i got the shelf here with stuff i'm interested in right i like nintendo i like pokemon zelda i got some army stuff right here more pokemon shit some books some Polaroids, some cards, right? I got my plaque from YouTube. It's just something that is that is me, right? Like, this is me, this is stuff I like, right? I like the army shit, I like the, the Pokemon stuff, Nintendo stuff. You guys might be into, you know, beer or something, right? Some barracks are weird, they'll be like, oh, no no beer or drug paraphernalia, like, on the, on the walls and things like that. You still see it happen, right? But if you're into something, try to decorate around your interests, what you're into, right? If you're into anime, get some anime, anime posters on the wall right like really make it your own right and those are just some of the things that I would put in like my own personal room right now say you're unfortunate and you don't have a common area and you don't have uh, individual rooms for yourself right you don't have any appliances we had appliances in ours so we really didn't have to worry about that so we bought uh, what blenders we bought um, you know, just stuff. We had refrigerators there as well, so we would buy our own food. It's great, right? And we bought our own common supplies. Me and my roommate, we just went half on everything for the room, so I recommend you guys do that if you got a cool roommate. And, you know, just decorate it up. You know, get some real, like, you know, ease of living things, like stuff that's gonna make your life easier or, like, cleaning easier. That way you don't have to worry about doing extra work when you get off work, right? But now if you're in an open room, right, kind of like the rooms in Korea, if you ever go to Camp Casey, that's kind of how they were, just, like, two to a room. Sometimes three to room right uh but or if you're at a base just stateside that is just two to room or whatever but there's no common area it's just one big area it's like a box you go in there's a bed on one side of the wall there's a bed on the other side of the wall or it's a bunk bed right it just depends uh some of the people that sent me pictures seem to have these types of rooms also in the discord and from what i've seen is if they have a bunk bed they kind of just take off that bottom bunk area and they kind of just put their bed on top and then they have their own little space underneath the bed so they have a desk with a computer with the lights that's cool it's like your own little cubicle area it's cool it's comfy and that way you're not taking up as much space around the room so it doesn't feel as congested so that's really good uh another thing is if you really enjoy your privacy and you feel like you're not getting that being in an open space room like that uh what i've seen done is people take 550 cord or just a cord in general and pin it from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall and they just take sheets and they just drape the sheets over it and kind of creates a barrier like a little divider from your section of the room to your roommate section of the room so that's cool if you guys really value your privacy you know you can try and do it that way because obviously it's, it's a little annoying right if you're going to be bringing somebody back to the barracks and you got to share that open area it's just not a good time it just kind of kills the mood and you, you don't want that right you want to be you want to be you want to have that privacy you don't want your roommate over there being like just watching you in the corner it's just kind of weird right i mean whatever you're into but uh same thing right rugs again i can't stress rugs enough rugs are good and when they said that in my discord i was like yeah definitely get a rug they fucking work right they, they, they do their job uh and just kitchen appliances right if you don't have the luxury of having a refrigerator stove whatever uh some things you can buy right a microwave that's good you can always have a cup of soups ready some cereal uh you can buy a mini fridge that'll help put that in the corner put the microwave on top of it i've done that before uh just a single stove burner you can buy those for cheap right you can buy like a, an air fryer that'll probably help a lot again be wary because some of the 
barracks might not allow this because of fire hazards, whatever, but that's not gonna stop people from doing it. People are gonna do it regardless. They just don't get caught. So as long as you can do that, not get caught, I mean, get, you know, do whatever your rank can afford. Don't take that super literally. I'm talking in terms of barracks rooms, obviously, but at the same time, you want to make it comfortable, right? And some people will probably be on this video like, oh, it's, you're in the army. You're not supposed to be comfortable. Fuck that, bro. If you're in, make yourself comfortable. Uh, comfortable soldiers are soldiers that have higher morale. Higher morale soldiers are soldiers that want to do their job without having to be told to do their job. I mean, granted, that's what you're there for. But if you got high morale, chances are the unit cohesion is going to be a lot better than somebody who just fucking hates their life because they go from the shitty job that they're doing back to the shitty barracks, right? Uh, so it, it, it plays a big part in terms of the psychological aspect of it, at least to me personally. Like, I think if you can go home and find finally relax in your barracks room then you're doing something right uh, i'll post some pictures up uh here on the video guys if i haven't already posted them before on this video as examples uh but just just try to make it your own that's my advice for the barracks rooms don't 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 leave it boring you know what i mean but that's it for this video guys be sure to like it so it pushes out to a larger audience subscribe if you're new here click the link down below to join my discord there's over 300 people in there that can help answer y'all's questions join me at my instagram at the ben allen shoot me a message if you want to get in contact with me i try to respond to everybody within two weeks or so and yeah thank y'all so much for tuning in i really really appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one later